It is a well-known fact among researchers that horses tend to look at negative things with the left eye. But is this always the case? And how can it predict the animal's reactions? Let's find out. In vertebrates like the horse, the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body and vice versa. If you look at the visual system, 80-90% to of optic fibers cross over in the horse's brain, meaning that information from one eye will mainly be processed in the opposite hemisphere. Now, if I tell you that negative emotions are processed in the right side of the equine brain, that explains why horses use their left eyes to look at scary objects. It would also suggest that horses would react more strongly to negative stimuli on their left versus their right sides. Several studies have confirmed this already, but we wanted to see for ourselves. So that was one part of our study. The other part aimed to clear up why horses get scared of objects, even though they have seen them before from the other side. Are they just being horses? Or do they really not remember seeing the object with the other eye? In order to test for all this, we designed two experiments. The first one was quite simple. We walked 11 riding school horses down this straight corridor, at the end of which we presented them with a scary object they haven't seen before. Funny story actually, we originally wanted to use a plastic bag, but literally none of the horses were scared of it. Like, have you met many horses that are not scared of a plastic bag before? We were so baffled by this that we could only assume that so many other students have used plastic bags with them before that they got completely desensitized to it. So we considered a few other objects and we decided that a squeaky balloon would give us the best response. What we were looking for in this first experiment is basically which way horses turn at the end of the walkway, or rather which way they turn their heads. Based on what other researchers have found, we expected them to turn their heads right and look at the balloon with the left eye. For the second experiment, we divided 10 horses into two groups of five. We also used a heart rate monitor, an umbrella and these weird looking head goggles. This one's a bit more complex than the first experiment, so let me explain what we did first, and then I'll tell you why we did it. So we fitted each horse with the heart rate monitor and the goggles, which allowed us to cover one eye of the horses. Then we exposed them to an opening umbrella five times, which was the scary stimulus, and took note of the maximum heart rate of each round. After the fifth exposure, we switched the eye cover to the other eye and repeated the experiment. The difference between the two groups was that one group had the left eye covered first, and the other group the right eye. So with this experiment, we were mainly measuring whether the horse remembers seeing the umbrella with the other eye. We used maximum heart rate to test for this, as if the horse didn't recall seeing the object with the other eye, his heart rate would spike like this after the eye cover was switched. So during the first five exposures, the horse would be gradually getting used to the umbrella and his heart rate would go down. But then if he gets scared again when seeing it with the other eye, the heart rate goes back up and gradually declines again. Hope that makes sense? On the other hand, if the horse does remember seeing the umbrella before, his heart rate will continue to go down even after the eye cover was switched, as you can see on this graph. Another thing we were looking at was whether the horse was more reactive on his left versus his right side. If this was true, then the group that saw the umbrella with the left eye first would have higher maximum heart rates during the first five exposures than the other group. We also scored the behavior of each horse during each exposure based on this table. This would go along with our heart rate data to help us determine whether there is a visual connection between the two halves of the equine brain, and also to show if horses are more sensitive on their left compared to right side. So let's go down to the actual results. When seeing the balloon in the first experiment, five horses turned their heads right and six left. Couldn't be more random, there are absolutely no findings here. The second experiment was a bit more interesting. Do you remember the graphs that I showed you at the beginning? There were two potential ones we could get? Yeah, so our heart rate data from the two groups actually looks like the first graph, which means what again? You're right! It means that the horses didn't have a good memory of the umbrella from when they've seen it with the other eye, so they spooked again. Well, there is some food for thought. Interestingly, our behavioral data doesn't follow this trend for whatever reason. But then again, behavioral scoring is quite subjective, so there could be some user error involved. Moving on, when comparing the two separate heart rate graphs for the two groups, we found no significant differences in the data, which means that the horses were equally reactive on both sides. I'm not even going to show you the behavior data because it's come out completely random again. 
this result just goes against the entire scientific literature on the topic because people have consistently found that the left side was more reactive. Which makes me think that we messed up real bad on this one. Lucky you don't have to actually get any significant results to do well on your dissertation. So before you go, uh, let's talk a little bit more about why we got these results and how they compare to what other researchers have found. First of all, a student dissertation is obviously a lot more limited than a real funded research project. We don't have as many test subjects, time or equipment available to us, which means that what we observed might not be true for all horses. Our experimental design also had quite a few potholes in it, but I'm not gonna bore you with all that. Instead, let's discuss each experiment in turn. If you remember, we expected horses to look at the squeaky balloon with their left eye. What we got was roughly a 50-50 ratio. What I think could have happened there was that half of the horses didn't see the balloon as a scary object, but simply a novel one. Novel stimuli are mainly processed in the left hemisphere, which in theory could explain why some of the horses looked at the balloon with their right eye. There's a bunch of other stuff I wrote in my dissertation, but again, you're probably not interested in that. If you are, then let me know in the comments below and I'll make another video on that. The fact that we found a significant increase in maximum heart rate after the eye cover was switched over is really quite interesting. There was actually one study in 1999 that has proven that visual information does get shared between the two halves of the horse's brain, so our results are a direct contradiction to that. On the other hand, studies observing animals with laterally placed eyes have concluded that the transfer of visual information is actually slower in these animals due to the position of their eyes. Rabbits, for example, can't repeat a task they learned with only one eye when that eye is covered. In a study done by a guy called Van Hof, only one out of 16 rabbits could perform a task they previously learned with the other eye. Which is actually really exciting because it totally goes along with our results. So we might be onto something there. That's it for today, guys. If you like this video, then let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to check out any of the papers that I refer to in this video, I put the link in the description down below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome horse facts and training videos. Until next time, ride smart everyone!